Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Brenda Lynn and I live in the most beautiful city in the country, I think, Seattle. Oh, and the sun is about to set. What time is it? Anyways, I just got done with my work day. It's Friday. Um, I just got done with my work day. I just finished actually doing my hair. Can you guys hear me? <laughs> Let me close my window. I'm going to finish getting ready and then I'm gonna head to Target. So I think I'm gonna have a Target haul for you guys today. So I just finished getting ready. Um, my hair is a little poofy. So I never really put, um, I never put, my mirror is always dirty. Um, I don't put heat on my hair often just because I don't know, I just don't. Not because I am against it or anything. I just usually don't, just don't. And um, I had some extra time, so I blow dried it. And then after I blow dried it, I put it up in that clip. And then that's what I was, I had the clip in while I was working this morning um, or all day. And then I took it out and this is what it is when I take it out. And I don't want to put a, a blancha to it. I don't want to put it like a, a flat iron to it. So I'm just going to leave it like this. Um, because it doesn't bother me. I brought a clip to because um, I don't know about you. Do you, Have you guys ever seen that meme that it's like when something touches my neck and the person's like, well, that's me. <laughs> I hate when my, like right now, even just my hair touching my neck um, is doing a thing, but I'll leave it in until it bothers me so much that I just can't take it and then I'll put it up in the clip. That's why my hair is always in a bun because, just because. <laughs> All right, I think I've talked long enough. Aren't these flowers so cute? They're mini carnations. I forget what the correct term is, but in parentheses, it was like mini carnations. All right, anyways, I'll see you guys in the car. Before I see you guys in the car, how pretty, how pretty. If you don't think Seattle's the most beautiful city in the country, let me know down below which city you think is. So I didn't quite realize how late it was. I thought I finished work early, but I didn't. And it's 7.18 right now. So this video might bleed until tomorrow, but that's okay because it's a long weekend. Happy Labor Day weekend. I'm probably watching this on Sunday, I think. Or I'm putting it out on Sunday. I don't know when you're watching it, but I, I'm planning to put it out on Sunday. So I usually like to decorate and stuff I don't know, it doesn't, like it helps with my mood and all of that good stuff. When I moved out here, if you've been watching from the beginning, you know that I moved with literally only what was in Arlo. And so I didn't pack any of like the holiday stuff. I'm looking for mainly holiday, fall decor stuff. And I think I'm gonna order Starbucks. I haven't had Starbucks in a while because I make my coffee out. Life is a winding road. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights. And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know. If I let me figure out. Falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. So they've just announced that they're about to close. Apparently they close at 8 here. So, and there's a couple of things in my cart, but... I'll meet you guys tomorrow at the at another Target. So it's the next day and I'm at a different Target. I just came out of the gym. Um, so I like technically still have like my workout stuff on, but I put a sweater on over to look a little normal. Um, this Target is larger than the Target in Seattle. So if you know how Seattle's kind of put on the map, let me find a place that I can talk to you guys without my mask. My hair is a mess too, but I just got out the gym, so that's my excuse. Um, so if you know how like Seattle sits on the map, Seattle's kind of like, 
it's separated by water so you'll see here on the map you have to cross like water in order to get to the quote unquote mainland so i i'm across the water right now on a different target on like they call it the east side um and this target's just much larger so there's a lot more stuff here i'll show you guys Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down but you guys won't even know the difference. We're gonna quickly do this haul before I have to go. If I haven't introduced myself yet, my name is Brenda Lynn, I live in Seattle. I moved out here earlier this year um, after getting out of the military and that's kind of how, that's kind of why I'm on YouTube. Give me one second to grab my bags. And yes, mom, I have disinfected the bags. I know she's gonna call me right after this video and be like, Brenda Lynn, why are your bags on your couch? They're disinfected, I promise. So my goal was to buy fall item things to decorate the house or the apartment with. I feel like I'm gonna have to do a lot of buying off of Amazon because I guess I was late to the party or something. One thing that I am grateful that I got was this throw blanket because it's the same throw blanket that I have on the couch right now, just a different color. And since it's kind of like that red color, I could probably keep it until Christmas. So, I'm gonna switch that. I am a sucker for mugs, and if you've been watching for a while, you probably already know that. Um, I love how basic this mug is, and it was only five bucks, and it, there's a B on it for Brendolin. So, when it comes to like decorating and stuff, I like to keep my stuff, for the most part, pretty simple. Um, so, whites, and specifically when I'm decorating for fall, I like to decorate more for fall and not like Halloween and stuff. So anyways, a white pumpkin, that's glass. It was $15, so on the price, for me that's a little pricey, but I really like the detail in it. Um, and you can't really, oh, you, can you tell how it's like a little gritty too? So that was what I bought, so that was what I bought yesterday. Today, I went to a different Target and there wasn't much there either. This was at the dollar spot, and I'm sure you already know, at Target there's a like a, like a section where there's things that are usually for under five bucks, and that this was there. And I usually don't buy decorative pillows because um, I have like pillow inserts that I just change the pillow covers on. Um, so like these pillow inserts, I'm probably gonna have to go on Amazon and buy pillow covers for them like fall related ones but um i thought it was really cute and it was only five bucks welcome although not many people come to my apartment so welcome brendolin back from the grocery store i wonder what this is oh uh, yeah so another mug this one says grateful it looks green on camera i think but that's actually gray and so is the grateful here treats and stuff and all i plan to do with that stuff is um, put them in like these bags here. I've never lived in the city before, so I don't know if um, like kids trick or treat like in apartment buildings, but if they do, I'm gonna have these on hand and then I plan with any extras that I have, I'm just going to um, give them out. So I'm kind of excited. I was actually gonna make cookies and put them in these bags and do it that way, but with like 
COVID and everything, I don't know. I wouldn't be receptive to cookies right now, I don't think so. And I'm really excited about this one. It's like a jean jacket, but a shirt. A jean shirt. I'm sure some of you guys probably have them. And lastly, is it really fall if we don't have a plaid shirt? I really like the colors on this. It's like soft green. I obviously didn't get too many fall things. If I figured out how to do it and I had the time, you'll see it here on the screen of just the things that I bought on Amazon to decorate my apartment for fall. And that's it. People do intros with like, hi, I'm Bob and I have videos of makeup to show you. They always include like what they're on YouTube for. And I feel like I don't know what I'm on YouTube for except for random stuff none of my videos i don't think make sense i'm saying all that to say um, if you like this type of video where i do a haul let me know because it hi i'm brendalyn and i live in seattle hi i'm brendalyn and i drove across the country okay hi i'm brendalyn and i'm a veteran <laughs> hi i'm brendalyn and i am trying to survive do you guys like that one <laughs> Anyways, I'm really wasting time. I have to go. If you guys like these types of videos, please let me know down below. I always acknowledge the comment and I almost always reply to. So anyways, leave me a comment down below. Like this video if you like the video and make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. Be kind and continue to occupy your space. I'll see you guys soon.